Okay, so I don't remember if I said that, but big bearings arrived for uh, the three-phase motor. Um, now I have a problem. So they are lightly press fit into the housing. I can press those in there. What I cannot do is press them on the shaft. The shaft is way too big to just lightly press that on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in an oven, heat them up to a reasonable temperature so the grease isn't cooked out because they're greased internally. And I'm going to put the, uh, the rotor into the freezer and hope it shrinks enough so I can just shove those on. Um, it, so it worked by heating up these things. So there's like, oof, God, that's heavy. So there's like these protection thingies, these round ones. I just uh, took them with pliers, heated them up with a torch, and then shoved it under. And now they're, they're on quite solid. Oh, but, oh, it still moves, but I can't shove it off. Like I can hold the anchor on this. So yeah. So this one's on there, <laughs> a bit more solid. Uh, yep. Um, so I'm just gonna try that. At some point, uh, not yet, because currently I have other things to do that I want to finish before I finish this one, because I can't really do anything with it yet. Um, but yeah, at least the bearings are here. The bearings have the right size. I cleaned most of this up, so you see this is reasonably clean. This one doesn't have any paint on it anymore for some reason. Uh, but that's fine with me too. I guess this is the back side. I don't even remember what the back side is didn't clean up this one but it's mostly rust and oh well doesn't matter yeah that's just a quick update on the motor I don't know if I even said that already but eh don't want to rewatch the videos I took bye